Hi there, and let's get started. Today we're looking at a few more ways that you can interact with the clips on your timeline. First function we're going to look at is swapping clips. To swap a clip, simply pick it up in the timeline, hold Command Shift or Control Shift, and drag it to the location you want it to occupy. So you can see I can go forwards, backwards, end of the timeline, or behind it. And in all these cases, the duration of the timeline does not change. When it comes to splitting clips, you can use the razor tool, shortcut B, and the red line will indicate to you where this cut will occur. Once the cut has occurred, you can use your normal edit tool to pick up the clip and drag it somewhere else in the timeline. Notice, however, that before you separate the two halves of the clip, there's this dotted line that appears in the cut point. This is to indicate to you that the frame at the very end of this clip is naturally followed by the first frame in the consequent clip. So it recognizes that this cut does not represent a real cut dividing two separate pieces of media, but actually pertains to the same piece of media. So if you ever split a clip and then you realize you want to join it back together again, you select the dotted line and click backspace on your keyboard. It's also worth mentioning that you have the same copy and pasting controls inside of these timelines as you do anywhere else on your computer. You select the clip or clips that you want to copy, Command C to copy and Command V to paste. The paste will occur wherever your playhead is currently located. Also do keep an eye on your auto select option. If I choose to deactivate video 1 and audio 1 and 2, and then scroll up here and Command V to paste, the clip and its audio skips this video track and uses the next available track that's not been deselected. So you can see it's now appeared in video 2 and in audios 3 and 4. This is incredibly useful because then that means you can start copy and pasting things across your timeline without fear of overwriting some other work that you've done. You can also choose to select multiple clips, Command C to copy them, go into your timelines, and in this case I'm going to go to a different timeline, scroll to the end, and Command V to paste. And now this entire edit has come across. To duplicate a clip, hold the Alt key on your keyboard, click a clip, and drag it away. Thank you, and until next time.